Now that the environment is set up, let's deploy the project. AZD auth is authenticated, so I'll use AZD auth logon to authenticate, completing the authentication in a separate browser window. And then I'll try AZD up, which will package, provision, and deploy all in one step. Select the subscription. Select the region. Begin packaging. Packaging is now in the Docker file. And that failed. So we'll figure out why. See, looking at it, there's something about NPM build. Looking at the Docker file for a TypeScript project. Oh, I don't have the files copied before I'm building them. So it doesn't have the source code and it doesn't have the tsconfig file. So I need to copy before I build. Alright, run it again and see what it does. And it failed again. Alright. Something about npm build, what is it? Is it npm run build? Yeah. Yeah, we're into the next... We're past that error. Okay, packaging is complete. Now creating the cloud resources. Let's go look at the Azure portal. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of the resources there. Okay, now deploying. And we have our endpoint. Let's, let's make sure that our Application was deployed correctly. No, no, that's the default Azure Container app, so we definitely didn't deploy correctly. Go into our resource. Oh, it tells us right away we have a failure. So let's go look at the Custo logs. couple of things in here. What do we have? I see a standard error, so let's make a little room to see the text. Something about server.json not being found. Okay, we definitely have a server, but our initial file is start, so probably just the wrong file in the docker file. Let's go look at that. Yeah, so that should be in the dist folder and it should be start.js. And since our resources are already packaged and provisioned, this time we just need to deploy the code. And let's clear out the cache. And that is our app. Yay!